Hey there, welcome to this lesson about, we're going to be talking about reputation manager overall, right? Basically, reputation management is being able to manage what your reputation, right? Like the name says it, right? Uh, a reputation, what is your reputation? Well, think about your business, right? What is the impression you want customers to have when they walk into your front store? Or what is the impression you want, you want your customers to have when they see your logo, uh, when they see an employee about your business, right? When they buy a product from you, when they touch and, 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 and feel your products, when they taste your food, um, when they provide service from you, right? All that is reputation. Like what is the feeling you want your customers to have and how do you present yourself and your business um, and how to manage that? So let's go ahead and dive in. In the first lesson, we're going to be talking about how to maintain a good reputation on social media. And so now we, let's assume that you already uh, went through all the social media platforms, right? That you already are aware, familiar with very of the social media platforms uh, that you may use to interact with your customers and you, your customers may use. Um, and this is you already created uh, some accounts on each of the platforms that way you want to concentrate or, or, or your, uh, put your effort about your business, right? So now it's time to start thinking about how you're going to keep appearance of your business because again, everywhere online where your business is located is an extension of your physical store if you have one. And so what's the appearance you want to have, right? If you have a great appearance in your physical store, then more than likely you want to portray the same online. Uh, your online reputation is invaluable just like it is your offline reputation. Your, you can just put up a profile picture and post a new message every blue moon and hope for the best. You need to work on maintaining communication and a good relationship with your followers on social media because how you think uh, people are going to think of you if um, if you have the owners don't have any communication at all with people that come to your location, right? Let's say you're a restaurant owner and uh, uh, people may come by and and, and tell you great thing about your food and you simply ignore them or you can you come in you don't say hi to uh, the people or you know you don't grace them you don't ask them how they are uh, nobody no none of your employees do that uh, how you think people are gonna feel right the food may be great but the service and experience is not um, all that uh, it definitely is it's an impact on your business so you can uh, again you know um, you need to work on maintaining communication and good relationship. Uh, and here are some of uh, how are some of the experts' advices that uh, you can go about it. Right. Rule number one: um, respond. Right. So the experts in the in their industry, the the expert business owners, um, uh, they are very um, they they're very go for responding. Right. And um, what I mean by what we mean by this is don't let your account sit there, right? So if you have social media accounts, don't just let it sit there. Make sure they serve in a purpose. Either is the purpose of that account to respond to customers' inquiries? Is the purpose of an account of that account to educate the customers? Right? What is it? If someone posts a question, a comment, even a bad review, it's vital that you respond to them, get back to them, right? Interact with your customers. Leaving it unattended sends a stronger message than a uh, than a customer's negative comment ever could, right? Um, so see, pay attention to what, it is, what it's saying over here. If you don't do anything, if you don't respond to people's comment or, or, or feedback or reviews, it's just it, it's worse than what uh, customer's negative feedback uh, impact will have in your account. Uh, make sure to check your accounts every day. If you cannot check in every day, right, have somebody do it for you. You know, have, make sure the, the staff is doing more than um, just uh, working there. I'm sure you can designate somebody for that or, or simply pay an agency or somebody else to do it outside of your company, right? So rule number two, be proactive. Customers often use social media channels to reach out with concerns and complaints. I know I've done it several times where... Um, you know, it's hard to reach out to them on uh, email or phone, uh, but guess where they fast to uh, get back to me? Definitely on social media, especially if these are um, big companies, right? If they're well-known companies, they will get back to you on social media right away. So stay as far ahead of them as you can be by setting alerts, right? And, and monitor all of the channels where your business is listed. Um, if you have unhappy customers, make sure you're tracking conversations. You can use uh, 
tools like Google Alerts. Uh, that's a free one that you can use. You simply Google Google Alerts, right? Um, Google Alerts. And what the way this works is basically you can go log into your Google account. Um, and, and what you're going to do when you go through the settings is basically put keywords in there. So more than likely, you're going to put your business name in there and a different variation of your business name. And anybody, anytime your business name is mentioned, uh, you're going to receive an email. Basically, that's why it's called Google Alert. Other tools that I've seen I use is Hootsuite, for example. Hootsuite is a platform that you can use for free to manage your uh, social media. But also there are paid versions, obviously, uh, depending on where you are, right? Uh, one of the things that the paid version can do and the free version is to let you um, check out what people are talking about your business in some platforms like Instagram and Facebook, I believe. So not all of them. So you may need to find different combinations on, uh, on tools that you can use. And, and um, I'm sure if you Google marketing tools for business owners, right, um, digital marketing platforms, um, Explore some of them, right? What are the features that you're looking for? Digital marketing platforms for whatever industry. There's there's even for industries. And just Google them, right? Marketing 360 is one of the popular ones. And I'm not sponsored. I'm not um, um, affiliated to them in any way. I shouldn't even be mentioning on this video unless they pay me, right? But um, I just want to help out here, provide information, right? Make sure you can... Uh, research platform you can uh, definitely contact me and help you out and do it for you as if you prefer more of a local attention um, but uh, platforms do offers that right it allows you to sort of help you on all under one roof to uh, sort of analyze all those alerts if you don't want to be dealing with so many other tools um, you'll know about these negative experiences before they spread like wildfires right so just like a wildfire you want to make sure you you exterminate that fire as soon as possible before it spreads out. So the same is with uh, negative reviews. Um, and develop a plan on how you could handle re negative reviews. Uh, number three, right? Rule number three, find them. So choosing the best social media channels are is, is essential to your business. You want to utilize the channels your customers are using, right? Obviously, that uh, not every channel works for every industry or company. Because social media is an investment of time and money, you want to make sure you're on the right platform for your business so you reap the, the dividends as well. Choosing the right channels is also a part of establishing a good reputation. So, for example, if you are a restaurant owner, you probably will attract a lot of customers from posts that you do on Facebook and Instagram, right? Because these are two very visual platforms um, and a lot of people that... Um, um, that uh, like to post pictures about food. So definitely you want to be on those too. Um, they like to tag their friends. They like to uh, share with friends and tell them, let's go here next time, especially if you have like happy hours and, and different uh, uh, fun events. If you, on pro uh, the other hand, right, if you provide professional services like insurance, or your dentist office, your real estate, obviously other stuff that can... Uh, uh, maybe you want to focus on, or for example, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, right? Um, so find them, find them, research where's your uh, audience hanging out. And one of the web best way you can do that is again by setting up Google Analytics, right? So um, you can, it's a free tool from Google. You can set up Google Analytics, and if you have a website, you can have your programmer install it. It's, it's not too complicated at all. You can contact me if you're having some issues, Google Analytics, and just go through the process to get a code created. Once the code is created, you put it on your website, right? So, for example, if we go to Dentist Fairfield, California, and if I go to one of these dentists, dentists let's see if they are actually doing a great job. Um, so, this one, it has Google Analytics set up. It has Facebook um, Analytics or Pixel, however you want to call it. And what I, why I mentioned this, right? So, because you want to know what's working. You want to know... Um, uh, who, who, you know, what sort of platform is bringing you the most um, people to your website, and why? Why? Because that, what that's gonna tell you is obviously that if uh, this specific platform, let's say for for a reason, is Facebook, uh, you can see that more people are coming from Facebook to your to your um, uh, to your website. You obviously understand that a lot of people that are that. Um, 
uh, are looking for your business and services are coming from Facebook. So you, you that tells you information. It gives you information that more likely your your audience is on Facebook. Your customers are on Facebook a lot. Um, in the other hand, right? If you, for example, invest time and money into building posts on Pinterest, for example, and you go to your analytics and you see that um, nobody, there's no almost no traffic from from Pinterest, then obviously you will cut down that budget for that and invest in, for example, Facebook more if, if you if Facebook is one of the main sources to bring people to your website, right? So those sort of things, is, it's important to um, why you want to establish uh, data that will help you understand where your customers are, are coming from, where you can find them, etc. cetera. Uh, so rule number four, promote them. So whether you're on Twitter, Facebook, or a multitude of different social media platforms, it's not just about yourself, about promoting your business, right? It's, it's, but also you can make it about helping out your uh, network customers and influencers, right? So if you have people that are influencer, meaning they have a large social media following within your local area, make sure to promote them, right? If you have a uh, um, business around your area that are doing local events close to your location, make sure to promote and get a, sure, a shout out. Uh, plus, if the event uh, benefits everybody in the area, why not, right? Make sure to also live stream it, post pictures, uh, and, and tag them, um, you right? So um, why you want to tag them? Because that will set up an alert to that person that you promoting or shut them out or uh, giving a shout out to. And obviously, that start building the relationship. Okay, yeah, great. Thank you for uh, giving us a shout out, right? Uh, at some point... It, 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 we want to, we, we humans we feel that we need to give back right as well so if you got me one time uh, I, I feel that um, it's just the right thing to do to um, give you back right if you got me one time it's just the right thing to do that I got you the next time right I'm sure you you experience that in, in, in real life um, so rule number five engage them so the first step in engaging people is having a high likability factor. It goes a long way when you're trying to spread your brand's message and grow your followers. Put your best out there, maintain civility, right? Basically, act the best version of yourself. A lot of time we hear that um, we got to be ourselves, right? Well, we want to be somebody else. That's fine. But be the best version of yourself. We all have bad version of ourselves. We have the best version of ourselves. Um, so why not be the best version of ourselves? Because we want to be the best for customers, unless you don't want customers, of course. In a world drowning in online negativity, being kind and expressing sympathy and empathy can go a lot farther than trying to out insult one another. So we have enough negative negativity in the world. If you're actually a business owner that is about your community, that you're looking to make a positive impact on your community, right? Um, then obviously we don't need that. You, you can always use more than you there are about uh, providing a good uh, impact on your community. Uh, so don't overshare. It's good to keep your post a bit personal, but give, don't give it too much, right? Information about yourself, especially if there's drama going on. Why? Why put more drama out there? Um, to be aiding, it's just basically going to take uh, the concentration from your business, right? Um, or worst of all, basically, it's just going to start creating complaints about personal problems. Um, it will be the fastest way to drive followers away, unless your industry, for some reason, is about that. Um, then by all means. But keep it simple, on track, and positive. Uh, rule number six, let your personality shine. So yes, it's a little, you may say yourself a little bit contractivity, Leo. You just told me to keep my personal uh, information out, but uh, I'm not saying um, keep everything personal, right? Um, it's good to keep your posts a bit personal, it says over here, right? But not giving too much. So after perfecting the niceness components, right? Uh, don't forget to let your personality and business personality come through. You can be far more casual on social media than you would be if you were writing a grant proposal or a business white paper, right? So and basically be, be, be relaxed, be relaxed with your customers as opposed to actually uh, what, how you will be if you go in front of a bank asking for a loan, etc. right? Uh, rule number seven, it's not all about you. Uh, too many sales pitches will send up red flags to followers and your social media accounts will end up looking like spam. So if you're all about 
uh, hey, buy this, buy that, but you're not actually providing some value, then obviously that's just basically a red flag for followers to say, oh, goodbye, you know, providing me any value, why should I follow you? Uh, so before long, your followers will start dropping like flies. Do not use social media as a blow horn to spew your advertisement. It will be viewed as spam and your social media credibility will drop into oblivion. Interacting with your audience will give your business an opportunity to showcase your credibility and knowledge in your industry. Being genuine and authentic is the key to maintaining a great business social media presence. So as you work on social media reputation, keep in mind that building and maintaining a solid rep relationship with followers takes time and commitment but once you achieve a solid foundation this digital footprint will allow customers to easily find and connect with you and your business so i know there's a lot of reading in this lesson and, and then the lesson two we're going to continue about perhaps some of the boring stuff which is about um creating a policy around social media but um it, it's something that we have to go through it's a like good information to uh, you know, <clears throat> to go through just like paperwork that you have to do for your business. The legality is about your business, right? You are excited about actually serving your customers, right, with the thing that you do that you are a master on. Uh, but when it comes to <clears throat> uh, things that we cannot avoid, like taxes or the legalities about forming an entity, um, we just all have to go through that. So going through some policies, right? Uh, at least giving a, a, a general over understanding of what policies is uh, around social media. Uh, it's something that may help us stay away from trouble. So let's get through that. Um, uh, for now, right? If you are uh, looking, f if you haven't joined our group where you can find more information, more support, go ahead and check below this video, right? Join our group if you haven't yet. If you are ready to do that one-on-one -on -one conversation that I'm offering to everybody that uh, goes through this course to sign up, right, to get information, uh, let's do that. Especially if you are a business that just started and are looking to establish an online presence. Let's go one-on-one -on -one and dive in more of a conversation about that and strategies. Um, two heads, we can think way better than one, right? Um, if you are a already established business and are looking to grow an online presence, then the same thing, right? Just the button below schedule a call one-on-one -on -one, and um, let's go through this together right let's learn about your business and see what uh, where you are and then what needs to be done to help you grow that online presence all right see you in the next one bye